let's get into it However you wanna do it, keep it cute or ruthless I got stabbers, I got bazookas Shoot them up, spit them out, and I stepped on them They say two on them, make them right But one left, gon' get them gone My mind I got some things that I wanna share with you guys Encourage you So today at work I got to witness something so beautiful that has been on my mind and I'm so very grateful and I'm gonna tell you why. We have been noticing for a few weeks, this little boy, he parks his bike really close to our building, right? And he goes to school somewhere around there. It's not far, you know, but I guess because he figured the building is secure because we do have cameras and that we're sitting right there with windows that his bike is safe. So every day we would see the bike, but sometimes we wouldn't see the person. We was like, who bike? For a long time we kept saying, where that bike came from? Who bike is that? So finally we got a chance to see who bike it was. So it was a little a kid, you know, in his teens. I, I'm not sure what age. And it's not a typical looking school. So if you don't know a school back there, you don't, you know, you don't know kids go to school back there. So anyway, he rides his bike. Well, our director over the the manager over the department, department manager, she was like, Oh, that's a school back there. So, you know, we all talking and she was like, We should get him a lock for his bike, because we noticed that he didn't have a lock. So maybe that's why. So anyway, fast forward, she gets the lock, and we missed him when he came to to school. So we had to watch because they had noticed what time he be coming. So we had to watch. Like, we on watch all day. When I tell y'all, like, we is watching. Like, we at the window. Like, everybody peeping to see if he coming or if the bike still there or whatever. We trying to catch him, right? So then... The, uh, the the director, the manager, she decides, like, okay, well, let's put it on a note. So they, they she made him a little goodie bag, and she wrote him a note, look inside the bag. I say, look, put something on there, because he might be like, I don't know who put this here or whatever. So she wrote a note, look inside. So she wrote him a little note and said, you know, we got this for you, good luck, or whatever, whatever, for your bike. So y'all, he finally come. Like we watch, we see him coming. We's like, okay, he come. Everybody coming, right? Everybody coming to the windows. But the windows, you can't see in the windows, but we could see out the windows. So <laughs> y'all, he come to the bike. Y'all should have seen how he was. Tim, now you know this is an African American boy, so he ain't just grabbing the bag. He looking around like, what the world? It was like a joy. So the director manager, she was like, oh my god, I'm about to cry. <laughs> she started crying. It, you know, it was her idea to get it. And, like, she really was excited. She was waiting to see his expression when he looked. So, y'all, he looked at the note. He finally grabbed it. Like, after he had tiptoed around it for a little bit, he finally grabbed a bag. And he looked in the bag, and he reading. We watching him. Like, everybody that came out of offices, and we looking. He reading the note, right? So then he looking around. He looking up everything. Like, we looking. We laughing because he can't see us, right? So we laughing. So I was like, I'm about to go tell him so I run outside but I can't see him I could like see a little bit of his face but with how they had the trees and stuff I couldn't see over the fence so I was like hey we got that for you I said look at them windows and wave they looking at you so he waved he was like thank y'all and waved y'all when I tell you that brought my heart so much joy to be to see that not because you know, like saying we did it because it, it really was our department manager idea to get the lock. You know, she wanted to do that for him and everybody was in, agree uh, in agreement. It's, it wasn't about that. Why it brought me so much joy is because I have been praying. See, let me tell you something. You better ask about me and tell them to tell you the truth. <laughs> so I've been praying and I've been asking God, like, listen. I need you to pour buckets of love all over the world. I'm talking about buckets as long and wide as the sky, as deep as the seas. And I have been praying that for about a year now consistently. I'll be talking to people praying in my head sometimes. Don't get it misconstrued. <laughs> Don't ever be misinformed about me. 
Because if it's something I did, I'll tell you. And for me to see that today and to see how happy she was just watching his expression into tears and the other people, you know, we sitting there like cheering it on. Everybody was like for that brief moment, everybody was on one accord and it was joy. And that felt so good. And I was so thankful. And I said, I laid in the bed tonight and I said, thank you, God. I love that because one thing I know about it, it wasn't much, but for that boy, you never know what that did for him. That etched something in his heart that he probably, we don't know what he was feeling. But one thing he can say, they still got good people in the world. Even if he can only come up with that one thing. Now, I don't know. Because I don't know his situation. He seemed to be a really cool kid. You know what I'm saying? From what I could pick up on how he was so, you know, thankful. You could, you could see the thankfulness in him. Like, he was surprised. He didn't know somebody was punking him. He didn't know what to do. He just looking like, what the heck? He looking in the sky and everything. Like, he looking up to the sky. Y'all caught that? That's when I said, let me go tell him. We should have just left it alone, but he was just so, like, looking around, like, what is going on? Because I don't, I mean, I know he know that's a business, but I don't know, you know, if he know what, you know, what's going on in there. I don't know. But it was just so beautiful, man. So let me tell you something. You never know what one jester would do for somebody. You don't never know when you can tell somebody you really look pretty today. That 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 be the determining factor of something they could be thinking that's very destructive. You don't know. It don't cost you nothing to be good to people, y'all. It don't cost a thing. It don't cost nothing to be yourself. That should be the easiest thing you could be because it's you. Now, y'all ain't got to listen. I'm going to share the wisdom as it come to me. It's up to you to take heed to it because I ain't going to fight you to love you. <laughs> you better ask about me and tell them to tell you the truth. <laughs> I love y'all for real. Peace.